Hi everyone, welcome to Raw Online. This is Dr. Ashok, consultant clinical microbiologist. And today we are going to learn about one of the most commonest uh, sexually transmitted infection, which is going to cause a uh, painful uh, ulceration in the genital associated with painful uh, lymphadenitis. So, what is a hemophilus ducuri infection? So, it is an infection involving the genitourinary tract and it is going to be an STD, which is going to be a sexually transmitted disease. And it is one of the most commonest bacterial uh, sexually transmitted uh, infection. And the bacteriological etiology is caused by a particular gram negative cocobastly, and it is going to be the organism called Haemophilus ducri. And it is one of the most common cause of painful ulceration in the genital associated with the painful lymphadenopathy. So, any case scenario like uh, is going to present to you with the these kind of complaint like any ulceration and lymphadenopathy, like there can be a painful ulceration or painless ulceration, or there can be a painful lymphadenopathy or painless lymphadenopathy. So, whenever like we are going to deal with the Haemophilus ducri infection, there is going to be a painful genital ulcer associated with painful lymphadenopathy. So, this is a characteristic feature of Haemophilus ducri infection. So, once again, like it is going to be a bacterial sexually transmitted infection and it is going to be transmitted by the organism called Haemophilus ducri and it is going to be a pleomorphic gram-negative cacobastoli. So, whenever like we are going to comment about a particular infection or uh, the pathogen, like in case it is going to be bacteria, like it is going to be a monomorphic or pleomorphic. So, whenever like we are going to deal with the pleomorphic organism, so pleomorphism like it is going to be a uh, varying morphology. Example, the particular organism can resemble an cocci or bastli or long filamentous bastli or it can be resembling like both cocci and bastli which is termed as cacobastli. So, the, here the particular haemophilus uh, ducri is going to be an uh, organism which is going to be a pleomorphic gram-negative cacobastli and it is going to be associated with the bacterial sexually transmitted infection. And here the patient is going to present to us with the complaint of painful genital ulceration associated with painful lymphadenopathy. Okay, with this like we will move on to the lab diagnosis. So, here like the patient is going to present to us with the complaint of uh, any genital ulceration. So, most of the time it is going to be a sexually transmitted infection. So, history of uh, any exposure to the commercial sexual worker can be present. So, whenever like any patient going to present to us with this kind of complaint, we need to rule out other associated serological condition like HIV, Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C. And here the lab diagnosis like we are going to obtain an swab from the ulcer. So, here again like we are going to use something like a Dacron swab and we can also do an aspiration from lymph node example like fine needle aspiration cytology. So, like uh, those kind of procedure can be performed if in case there is going to be an associated painful lymphadenopathy. And the first stain which we are going to do is going to be the gram stain. So, here like we are going to look for the pleomorphic gram negative cacobastoli. So, as I told pleomorphism, so they are going to exhibit like uh, numerous forms of organisms like cacai, bastoli, long bastoli and cacobastoli. So, here there is going to be a pleomorphic gram negative cacobastoli and few organisms can appear as bipolar stained appearance and Arrangement like school of fish or railroad appearance is going to be a classical feature of Haemophilus ducri infection. At the end of the session, I will show you a slide which is going to have an image of uh, school of fish or railroad appearance. So, now moving on to the culture medium. So, culture medium like which we use for culturing Haemophilus ducri is going to be the rabbit blood agar and we can also use uh, selective agar like chocolate agar with uh, isovitalic and uh, these kind of uh, agar like they are going to grow the colony at around 48 to 72 hours. And those colony is going to resemble small grey translucent colony and the particular organism can also be grown in uh, cell lines. So, here like we are going to use uh, cell lines or uh, uh, materials which is derived from the egg like chorioallantoic membrane and here like we are also going to check the organism so for its growth uh, towards the factor X and factor V. So, any hemophilus like we need to differentiate the hemophilus species by using the factor X and factor V disc. So, here the particular organism will grow around factor X but not factor V. So, which is going to be a characteristic differentiating feature of Haemophilus ducri from other Haemophilus infection. And for molecular like we can do the polymerase chain reaction where we can detect the 16S or RNA. Now, moving on to the treatment. So, the treatment for this particular condition caused by Haemophilus ducri is going to be the azithromycin 1 gram oral as a single dose. So, the other alternative treatment is going to be the ceftriaxone, ciprofloxacin and erythromycin. So, here both the sexual partners has to be treated. So, one if, we, if one partner is going to get infected, like the particular partner can infect the other partner who can stay asymptomatic or can be in the incubation period. So, it is always better to treat both the partners. So, here like we are going to use azithromycin or ceftriaxone or ciprofloxacin and erythromycin. So, again like we need to make sure that both the sexual partners has to be treated. 